Good morning, Martians. Today I'm going to take a look at the new generator that's been implemented. The MMRTG Multi-Mission Radio Isotope Thermoelectric Generators. So it looks like now we can plug directly into a generator as opposed to having to run through the wall sockets like we had to do for a couple days there. I made a whole video on that, but didn't get it released in time. I may release it anyway, just because it did take up some time. But anyway, it kind of digressed on this whole setup I had to run through the wall panels and out and all this crap. But it looks like now, let's take a look at one of these babies up close. There it is. Now at first, when I read radio isotope, you know, thermoelectric whatnots, I thought it had something to do with like solar radiation or something, you know, isotopes. It's kind of a radiation thing, I believe. And uh, so I thought it was pretty cool. Now we can have one of these next to each machine I haven't, uh, it's like half the power of a solar array. I looked at that earlier. Um, now, I'm not sure how much power each machine, this is the first I've looked at it. I have I've not messed with it at all until just now. Got off work and said, holy hell, check this thing out. So it saves me a lot of trouble. But we're gonna go do some experiments real quick to see what kind of, uh, cause I don't know what kind of power each um, component uses, like this guy, the driller. I don't, I don't know what the hell, what, how many watts it uses. So I'm gonna plug it in. Right now it says no barrels, so we can look at this. Uh, if I can just scroll my wheel a little bit, so you can see the power. I mean, we, we not a lot of battery backup. It has two batteries, one on either side, and. It's charging up at the moment, and I don't know on what, though, because I'm not really sure what a radioisotope is. I sat, I did, uh, there was a, um, a solar flare came through, and I sat right here and looked to see if that had anything to do with, with the power, you know, spike. If, uh, during, it did not. So during the solar event, uh, this did not spike. I neglected to go check my solar panel, though. That You would think that thing would spike during a, a solar uh, event, but, and I'll check that later. Anyway, let's plug these babies in and see what the hell happens. It'll run on one. Oop, I forgot. Come here. I forgot you don't have to have it at a certain angle anymore, and that is like amazing. So we're gonna see if this thing will come on with. I mean, it, it does have two outlets. So theoretically, if it runs out of power. Now, I did not see if I could plug directly into a solar panel, though. Um, let's just see that, because I, they might have uh, done that without telling us. Wrong button again. So let's pop a solar panel in here and see if I can actually, um, before I get into my uh, testing of these guys, let's uh, slap another solar array right here. And I happen to have a cable right here. I just kind of curious to see uh, if they change that in any way, shape, or form. Come here. Come here. These things are a little stiff still, so let's see here. Is it the red that plugs in here or the green? Okay, the red plugs in there. I think I can grab. Yeah, it shouldn't be moving that big old spool when I pull on this, but what? Oh god, I forgot to hang this guy. There we go. All right. And it plugs in better if you have the tip in your hand, so I grabbed the very end there. And let's see if I can uh, plug it into this guy. It has two outlets on it. Okay, so no, oh wait. No, because only a red one go. Wait, no, that's into the wrong thing. I want to plug into a machine. Am I just out of slack? What the hell? Oh, that's a drill. 
Oh wait, you can plug a solar panel directly in. Holy hell! Didn't know that. But anyway, that's beside the point. I want to see what kind of power these guys pull. Yes, yeah, so we're just leaving him laying out right now. But yeah, you can plug solar panels right in. Alright, so let's see what kind of power we got going on here. So we got input and output. Oh, that's... Alright, well, we're obviously in the clear there. Wait a minute, 25 seconds? Oh, I see. So is that going to not run off of uh, active energy development? It's only running off the batteries? That's interesting, interesting. That is interesting. What's this guy saying? What does that say? Okay, so we got the load. The grid. We're losing power on the grid. There we go. Okay. So we lost power on the grid. Whoa! Okay, it took a second to update. So the load went off because the machine went off. So it looks like you have to run it off of the battery. That's interesting. Let me unplug this guy right now. And go over here and look at this guy. Okay, this is the what now? This is the topsoil excavator or something? Now, I don't know if you can hook these up in tandem, but there is, there is, uh, hold on a second. I'm going to turn realistic uh, sound on real quick, just so I don't have to listen to all that and try to yell over it. How ridiculous is that? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so. This one, load. Okay, so you can see what it's using. 1.8 minutes, so it's running off of the batteries, it looks like. So at least it tells you how much time it can run. That's pretty cool. And we now know we can hook two of these in. So, and the solar panel on top of that. So that's pretty cool. Let's unplug this. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that one's going to a solar. Can I? Hmm. So if I grab this and plug it in. <laughs> and then unplug it from the <clears throat> solar array. Although the solar array does put out twice the power of those things. Hmm. 1.6 minutes of power left. So if I... Plug it in here. <coughs> Whoa, kind of overshot there for a second. Now it should have, well, it's still less time. Oh, look at that thing. It's actually uh, moving around the surface. I never noticed it did that. It's actually vacuuming up. Very clever, guys. I never even noticed it did that. So one minute left, no matter what. So she yanked this puppy out of there. Yank that one out of there. And then we got this guy. Okay, let me uh, unplug him before I... Uh, then I'll put the, all the drums in. Resource barrels. I guess I could have let those other guys run so I could uh, check this guy out. So I'm going to need some kind of something. Alright, let's get a look here. What do we got? What do we got? I didn't leave much room over here, did I? Okay, so there's no load, obviously. Oh, this, oh wow, look at that. 5.2 minutes. But it's been charging the longest. That one says... Interesting, so five minutes. So, okay, we're still going to be limited on time. It's nice that you can um, plug two things into this. Um, I was able to plug a solar panel directly into the machine. You saw me do that. But can I plug a solar panel into this? 
No, because that's got a red socket. Yeah, it's the wrong socket. So can we not run these in tandem? No, we can only put two in directly in. So it's not like it, you can run four of these into one and then out. But that's all right. That's all right. Because now we can do a solar panel that charges our uh, equipment. And... So let's see, this has no load, so yeah, it's on. So it's not doing anything, because I don't have anything to, oh wow, look at these guys. It filled up kind of damn quick, man. Oh no, it didn't. Wait, what? I thought these things colored. Oh, I see, it's a line at the bottom, which I can't see. Yeah, like that one. All right. So yeah, I don't really have anything to process at the moment, but looks like now we haven't made in a shade man so now we can actually power our stuff now it's interesting we can only plug two sources of power in and wasn't I just saying on my last video um, when I was hooking it all up through the panels that they need to have some kind of a box and everybody knew that but this isn't really what I was thinking I was thinking of a box that you can run a whole bunch of these into and then a whole bunch of these out of. So, you know, I could have like a farm of these. And, you know, I don't know. What's it? I mean, this is half the power of the solar array. So I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is great. So, and oh, it is printable. You don't have to spawn it in or anything. Um, so <coughs> that's printable. And solar panels and that. That's amazing. I'm just glad that the solar panels can power the machines directly instead of having to go through the wall sockets. I mean, that's great for the house. <laughs> you know, yeah, you power the house. That's that's fantastic. And uh, but this is this is what we were talking about here. This is what we needed. Um, you notice I'm not on the set of my let's play. That's because all the textures stopped loading. So it's just all black. No matter how long I wait. Even on the lowest setting, it really drives me nuts. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna, <coughs> I guess, plug these babies back in. So it looks like I can run one of these. Um, I mean, two of these into one machine. And look at that! It won't plug in unless you grab it from here. It looks like. So you can use two of these to power one unit so anyway I just wanted to kind of drop in here and uh, talk about that for a moment so you can you can print these now um, now these batteries these chemical batteries you can only spawn in but they don't work yet and I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but they need a panel that we can put these in or something we can put these in as backup because right now we don't have I mean these are in the game we could use these for cars or whatever or anything and charge these up and put them in a in something I don't know what maybe magnetically stick them to the wall here I mean you just you have the terminals they're right there so if we can take these terminals and have it magnetized to a, a special plate you can put a whole bunch of them across you know they snap right in and it would be a battery backup plate not one of these curves, obviously, but a flat one. We can just have a flat one. Uh, or hell, just a unit. Another little box we could put here, and we could put like 12 of these batteries in it. And then jack it in. That would be cool. We can just call it a battery backup. Or something to that effect. So yeah, there we go. There we go. Up and running. So hey. I'll catch you next time when they release something uh, more interesting. I, it looks like they did something to the helicopter, but there's a whole other game take on helicopters for those. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using a helicopter on Mars anytime soon. Um, well, maybe. <laughs> no, I don't know. But I would like to get back to my Let's Play here pretty quick. If I can get that texture thing uh, figured out. It's not like you can copy everything from one map to another. This is the same map, um, but it loads fine without all my stuff loading into it. So at first I thought it was because I was running the 100 cables.
through that wall complex way of doing it. Uh, oh, look at that. It's not rendering in the panel over there. But, uh, yeah, catch you on the other side, guys. Take it easy.